What's up everybody, it's Big Brian here from SLC Audio and today we're gonna go through a really cool product. We're gonna demonstrate the Dynamount. All right, so I got the Dynamount set up and it's really, it's an amazing tool to use for engineers or home recording enthusiasts, professional producers, anybody that's looking to get the best sound possible out of their recordings. So how does it work and what is it going to do? If you look at this, I've got an SM57 set up on my guitar cabinet and you're probably wondering why am I holding my telephone? Well, the reason is, is because I control the Dynamo with my phone through a Wi-Fi network. So let's just first get this out of the way because everybody wants to know, does it move and adjust and how does it do it? Well, I've got it moving. So I'm gonna say this position all the way up here when it's set up default. This is what my default wants to be for right now. What I wanna do is I wanna give you an idea of what happens to my guitar tone as we make little adjustments and the thing is, is people don't realize how much a little adjustment can make on the overall tone that you're getting, and that's what we're looking to do. Um, that's what we're looking to do today is to actually get you to hear how much a little adjustment makes. All right, so let's get started. So I'm gonna play a riff, just a basic riff, some power chords, something familiar. Maybe in fact we'll just play some power chords from Smells Like Teen Spirit, just so that you guys have something familiar and something that I'm gonna to go to every time just to keep things consistent. So let me start, I'm just gonna play and run through it and then we'll make some adjustments. <laughs> All right, so that really quickly, said and done. Now let's make some adjustments on the amp and hear how it sounds. So I'm gonna start off by moving the dynamo in uh, off the center and to the outside of the cone. And I went halfway, so that went from being at 50 to 25. So technically a quarter on, on the movement of the dynamo. Let's take a listen. So now that we did that, let's go ahead and jump it to the farthest over position that we have at zero. All right, so now we've made a couple adjustments that way. I'm gonna go ahead and set it back to zero. And now this time, I'm gonna pull it back 25 points. So now that I've got it pulled back, I've actually pulled back off the speaker on the cab, and let's make some adjustments and hear how it sounds. All right, got that, cool. Let's play around a little bit more. Let's move it back to 50. Now that I got it pulled back there, let's pull it back all the way so that we got more space off the cab. Go ahead and pull it back and start playing. All right. 
So now we've heard a couple of adjustments that way. Let's start pulling the dynamo out again out away from the center of the cone and we're gonna leave it all the way back. <laughs> All right, now let's move it in towards the cab. forward again. On this last segment, I've turned the phone over to Jared. He's gonna sweep through some settings really quick while I play the guitar. Enjoy. So, as you can see, the Dynamo is really cool. It's a lot of fun. It's a really great tool for engineers, both home enthusiasts and pros. For the home enthusiasts, it's hard to be doing everything at the same time. For the pros, sometimes it's you don't have your assistant engineer around to make the adjustments you want. And so this gives you a versatile tool that will allow you to really get and fine tune the tone that you're looking for because every degree of change counts. I'm Big Brian from SLC Audio. Thanks for watching. I hope that you guys subscribe. Go check out the Dynamount. We'll put a link in the description here and I'll see you guys next time.